Hi YouTube, welcome to my 10 things about you tag video. I was tagged by Dr. Laura. I'll put her video or her channel link um, just below. And she tagged me about, oh my goodness, March, April, May. So like, I don't know, potentially up to three months ago. So I'm finally getting around to do it. I am on vacation, but I thought I would get going and do some of these. And this was an easy one. I just thought of a list, seriously, the five minutes ago. So this should go pretty fast. So my first thing you, you may not know about me is I have an issue pronunciating words. I will not embarrass myself on YouTube by saying all the ones I cannot pronounce, but I struggle. I struggled the longest time with the word philosophical. I used to say it philosophical. Like seriously, that's how I would say it. And I'd have to practice like every night, slowly try to say it. And now I can actually say philosophical but it's still really slow and horrible sounding. Anyways, I have a whole list of words that I struggle. I remember when I was a kid, the word I struggled with was museum. I don't know why, but anyways, that's my first thing. Number two is that I absolutely love doing laundry. That is my favorite chore above all the others. I could do laundry every day. I love everything about it from putting it in to picking up the laundry detergent and starting the cycle to I love like drying it and folding it and even putting it away that used to be one of my least favorite things but now that I've organized all my dresser and closet and everything I actually enjoy putting it away too and I love like even doing John's laundry and folding that and putting that away so call me crazy but when we have kids someday I wouldn't mind doing cloth diapers just because you get to do laundry like every day or every other day which is crazy a lot of people do not understand that about me but well number three is I used to have horses uh, we had horses at our house I used to ride since I was about 12 I did English horseback riding and so I started out doing hunter jumper and then I was in pony club and I loved it I did dressage stadium jumping or cross country and stadium jumping and loved I loved it and then we brought our horses home my dad built this beautiful barn and we had a pasture and a riding arena and it was absolutely wonderful um, but I was the only one really interested in it so it didn't go very far and once I hit high school and got my license um, I decided to sell them kind of on a whim and just get rid of everything which is actually one of the two biggest regrets in my life is selling those horses because to this day I have no idea where they are I don't know who owns them how they're doing if they're even still alive so I used to ride horses and that's one of my biggest regrets is selling them and so that leads me to number four uh, my second <laughs> regret and that is I didn't participate in the study abroad program the fall of my junior year I was really thinking about a applying to the study abroad program going to Asia that left at the end of August and went through end of January and you travel there with a small group of students and some professors and I would have loved to do that but I was so obsessed with making sure I had all the prerequisites for taking the MCAT and getting ready for med school and possibly med school interviews or I guess I think it would have been my yeah, it was still my junior year because you would have taken the MCAT that junior that junior spring and then I didn't want to apply for it senior year because I was afraid I'd be doing interviews for med schools. And so perfect opportunity would have been my fall of my junior year, but I, that was the year I needed to take physics and get ready for the MCAT. And that's still my biggest regret because I love to travel and oh, I, I can never go back to that and travel in a group of small students with professors. I'll be able to travel on my own, but I'll never get to do that in undergrad. Anyways, number five. Um, I cannot even read this. Oh, this is kind of a funny one, but I'm at my in-laws house, so I thought of this one. I absolutely love my in-laws. I don't know how blessed I have been because I love my family and I love my in-laws so much. I love hanging out with them. I hate when we have to leave and I don't know, it's kind of crazy. But my 10 things you don't know about me, number five, is that I love, love, love my in-laws. Number six, uh, this is kind of a, a goofy one, but John says I struggle with the ugly duckling syndrome. So back when I was in like junior high and high school, I really struggled. I always thought I was 
really ugly and not pretty and I would I actually got made fun of quite a bit in junior high and to this day I still don't think I'm pretty whatsoever but it doesn't bother me anymore like it used to in junior high and high school but that is probably one of my insecurities is because I was made fun of so much in junior high all right number seven um one of my I guess hobbies you could call it is is pregnancy I love any information regarding pregnancy, childbirth, uh, raising kids. I love it all. I used to work as a nanny from high school throughout college for different families and I used to babysit and got to know some families really well. So I've always loved parenting and especially pregnancy. My mom was pregnant when I was five years old with my sister and I would secretly read her what to expect when expecting book and her pregnancy book. And I've just always, always loved that, that topic. And I have a whole shelf of books pregnancy related. And <laughs> so people are like, oh, are you guys pregnant? Are you expecting? And I was like, oh, no, I just, I read this for fun. So <laughs> really random. And number eight is about my family. My family actually is kind of a cool story. They lived in a trailer park. Uh, just before I was born with my brother, my dad had bought land right after high school. He ended up not going to college, and uh, he lived in a trailer park for a few years with my mom and my brother, and then him and some of my other family members built the house that we live in today, and so yeah, I couldn't be more proud of them. And then number nine is I love produce, and I love vegetables, and probably my favorite vegetable is kale. And then number 10, my last thing about me is I have a squishy pillow and I cannot sleep without it. I'll show you. This is, I've had a squishy pillow since I was a little kid. And it doesn't have to be the same one. This isn't the same one that I had when I was a kid. But I need a squishy pillow and I bring it on every vacation, even if it's for like one night at someone else's house. So that is the 10 things about me tag. So if you watch this, then you have to do it as well. So I'd love to see your 10 things that I don't know about you tag and just link them to this video below.